Another bear spotting in Orange County. You see it right there. How <laughs> cute. This time our own David Martin found it when he showed up for a story on Good Day Orlando. You never know what you're going to find out exactly. there, right? Well, this bear, as you can see, was hanging out in a tree for hours. It finally crawled down this afternoon. Fox 25 Stephanie Buffmonte is looking into all the bear sightings we've seen recently. The bear was hanging out in this tree right behind me here, but it came to a surprise to many people because we are right next to John Young Parkway, right near Lake Fairview Park. So it's not where you would expect to see a bear. She was like looking and she's like, is that a bear? And it was. Like a scene out of the Jungle Book, the simple bear necessities. This bear seemed worry free as it was snoozing on this branch in Orlando, right next to a preschool Tuesday morning. The kids like, I want to see, I want to see. I had him, they could look out the window to see that he was in the tree. The little guy, or maybe not so little to some. She said he was a cub. I mean, that's a big cub. But <laughs> um, I was just like, it's a cub. I was like, he's huge. <laughs> Climbed down the tree, but got scared and went back up. Eventually, he made it down climbed over the fence and ran away. Good day, Orlando's David Martin first spotted the bear while out on another assignment. We are live on John Young Parkway, Amy, as you said, about to go into the man cave warehouse for our morning feature. We stumbled across this black bear sitting up in a tree. Surprised is quite the understatement for many spotting the bear in Orlando today. In Orange County, I've never seen one ever. I've never seen a bear actually in Orange County in person other than today. This was one of several bear sites in Orange County recently. Just last week, a bear was spotted in a tree at the busy Lake Eola before FWC safely trapped and moved it to the Ocala National Forest. Another bear was spotted roaming around Orlando's College Park neighborhood in late April. This time, tragically, the bear was hit by a car and died. FWC says during this time of year, young bears leave their mama bears home in our area. That's usually in the Wakaiva Basin. The bears are looking for somewhere new to live, and sometimes they wander into unexpected areas. When he came back uh, out of the tree this morning, he ran into a little patch of woods, and that patch of woods is right on the train tracks. And so what we've noticed over the years is we get a lot of bears that move down from Wakaiwa following train tracks and power line corridors, right? Because it's not a whole lot of people on them, and it's a straight line. FWC says the bears will usually just move along. They say if you see one in a tree, don't approach it. Don't try to take a selfie. Just leave it be. And they say if a bear does approach you, though, the best thing to do is just make yourself look big. Put your arms up and slowly back away as you're being loud, saying something like, hey, bear, hey, bear. Reporting in Orlando, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.